Scott. My real name is Alex. I had one of my siblings call me Dave one time in a deleted video from 2016, and it was one of the most successful pranks we've ever done. Thousands of creepy online dudes trying to get overly personal. Dude, I was just literally talking to my kids that I was shocked that he wasn't in MCC Pride. And, uh, you know, I think his last video was he came out with uh, uh, his VR series that he was going to do. And the last we'd heard, you know, sounded like he was getting better. Uh, going, oh, hey, Dave, how's it going? Sorry for selling out so much in the past year, but thanks to everyone that bought hoodies, plushies, and channel memberships. My siblings are going to college. Well, if they want to. I don't want to put any dead brother peer pressure on them. But that's all from me. Thank you all for supporting my content over the years. If I had another hundred lives, I think I would choose to be Technoblade again every single time, as those were the happiest years of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed my content and that I made some of you laugh. And I hope you all go on to live long, prosperous, and happy lives. Because I love you guys. Technoblade out. We'd been talking for a couple of months about Alex doing a final video. Sometimes he called it a face reveal. We were going to shoot it in his living room, but we kind of waited too long. Then we were going to shoot it from his bed. He wanted to have everything he wanted to say written down ahead of time. And I think he was having a hard time focusing, you know, with all the various things that were hooked up to him. He's always been kind of particular about his environment, and that really put him off the mental state that he wanted. Oh, dude. It's Oh, how, oh. Jesus, dude. I just got done doing a, a video. Just got done doing a video, and I saw that. This notification that Technoblade popped up. And then my phone started blowing up. Saying that Technoblade had passed. Had I seen the video yet? And I said no. And, uh... Yeah, uh, regardless of anyone's opinion on someone making a video on this, again, I just, uh... I, I am a reaction channel. I have people that, that look at this this uh, this channel for, for support and everything. And a lot of people are going to be hurting from this news. Technoblade had uh, one of the best fan bases. I mean, this, this is why he, on his way out, he wanted to make sure that his, his fans, his subscribers, his, his followers were going to be okay and that we knew what happened and that he was thinking about everybody. God, dude. The world lost a, a good person. YouTube lost uh, one of their best creators. And the world is, is a, a worse place because he is gone. Wanted to be in to write. Um, eventually he said he was going to write it and he asked me to read it. Fathom being a father. He was having a hard time doing the writing. And at some point, I just, I got down on my knee at his bedside. And I said to him, Alex, you don't have to do anything else. 
you've done so much for so many people, millions. Literally people. million people. And if you want to now, you can rest. But if you want to write one last, one last video, and you're you're waiting for things to get a little better, then I would say, don't wait. I don't think things are going to get any better anymore. And uh, it seemed. It seemed like that reached him and he uh, asked for my laptop and then he wrote a few paragraphs. I don't think he said everything he wanted to say, but I think he got the main points. He, uh, he finished that. God, I just, I can't, I can't even. No. As a father, I'm just putting myself in his shoes and Technoblade was so young, so freaking young. And his father is reading this. Got up and then he was done. He lived about another eight hours after that. We all said goodbye. He was the most amazing. He was the most amazing kid anyone could ever ask for. I miss Technoblade. Thank you to all of you for everything. You, you meant a lot to him. Bro. Bro. We, the family of Technoblade, wanted all of you to know just how much he adored and respected his fans and colleagues. From Technoblade's earliest online days, he was always strategizing ways to delight and reward his audience, giving away online prizes, encouraging good sportsmanship, and most of all, sharing his Minecraft adventures for entertainments and laughs. Even after his eventual successes, he somehow managed to keep his good-natured humility competing with an endearing balance between confidence and self-deprecating wit. He avoided personal fame and worked hard to keep his true identity confidential. And we ask you to continue to honor his wishes to protect his privacy and privacy of his family this past year. Had a lot of rough spots for our son as he battled stage four cancer. Jesus. But he didn't complain and he kept using his famous strategic mind to try and beat what he knew was almost impossible odds. My son's bravery on this path was a shining lesson to all of us who were privileged to walk with him. Thank you for sharing his journey through it all as he did. The work he loved for his beloved fans. Techno, you rock. Oh, uh. So I just, I, again, I, cannot I just want everyone to... Uh... articulate how I feel right now. <clears throat> I didn't know how I would actually feel about this. Um, 
like right to the core um because i'm really really feeling this um i don't know what to really say and i don't i didn't really want to write down how i I didn't really want to write anything down. I just wanted to speak from the heart about this. An hour ago, we all received the news that Technoblade passed away um, through his YouTube channel. He released a video, which is such a such a Technoblade thing to do. Um, right to the very end, he was with us all the way, which is something that we can all try to be even with the best of times the worst of times we can be kind to one another and be ourselves and understand that we are good people i didn't think i would be so shaken up by this news it is just oh my god um we all knew him but i think it's because we're so close with him and we grew up with him and he was the brightest shining light for everyone and rightfully so he was the best of us and i think it's also because and i it's really hard for me to say but the last few videos he made he was so boisterous and upbeat and funny that we didn't really know what was happening deep down and that's really the the illusion of the social media space that we work with, we all see the best of us, even when we feel so down, it's because we want to put our best faces forward and hide the pain that we're suffering. And I can only imagine what he was really feeling when he was doing that. It's hard for us to accept what has really unfolded. A close relative of mine has been diagnosed with cancer too, and it's just, when you see their faces try to stay strong to make us feel better we don't truly know how they feel he's left a legacy and we don't deserve it we don't two days before the event i get a dm from them saying techno half our team just dropped out we need you to sub in with the organizers to keep it fair for everyone else if you sub in you have your place